start with those new comments from the co-owner of the Bills about a new home for the team. Kim Pagula expressed some skepticism for seeing a difficult path in terms of financing a new stadium. The current lease for the Bills has another five years to go, and Mrs. Pagula says the team is doing its due diligence as we head toward the day when some important decisions will have to be made. And we get the latest on the future of the franchise from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Erie County owns the current stadium and leases it to the Bills. County Executive Mark Polencarns was unavailable to speak to us today, but in a tweet seemed to laud Pagula for her assessment of things, writing, Recently built stadiums are approaching $2 billion. That is a ridiculous amount of money to spend for just a stadium if you think about all the other needs a community has to address. I'm glad Kim Pagula said publicly what all with the team knew. Pagula shared her thoughts with Vic Carucci of the Buffalo News. She cited the cost factors. She cited the fact that something in the range of a billion point four plus, which was the price that the team paid, is going to be the ticket on this. And a lot of the entities involved, public, private, uh, aren't interested in contributing to that kind of money. So she didn't sound very encouraged about that. She also noted to Carucci the cost of a new stadium would probably be about the same as what the Pagulas paid to purchase the team a few years ago. She said we don't have $1.5 billion just sitting around. And I think you probably would see a substantial public involvement there. But while in the past the state has ponied up a healthy portion of the cost of stadiums, including the $130 million spent a few years ago to renovate the current one, it recently had to close a $4 billion deficit to pass a budget. A couple years in government is an eternity. I mean, you know, you go from deficit to surplus to deficit on the state level uh, in no time at, at all. So it, it uh, large part will depend on, uh, on what happens uh, with the economy. Or if an additional revenue stream can be found, and there just may be, after a recent Supreme Court ruling allowed states to legalize wagering on sports. Would it be a good idea for the state if they were to adopt that? to say we're going to take a portion of our cut and designate it for public facilities for sports teams. Yeah, I think that would be uh, that would be excellent. I mean, you'd you'd have a dedicated source of funding, and this would be something that we would we would have some skin in, uh, that we would have a, a, a strong uh, or a big stake in. So yeah, I I think you would see the Erie County Legislature weigh in on that. But you can also wager that if New York does allow sports betting, it will only be after Albany decides how to divvy the spoils, much like with MMA or ride sharing. In his statement to us, Empire State Development's Howard Zemsky called discussing state money for a new stadium premature for now, while the Pagulas evaluate their own strategy. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.